Hey, welcome back to the lunch table. We're still playing Mass Effect. Where do I start? And we just docked at the... Sure I'm ready. What is this thing called? Well, it's been a week. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> it's only been a few <laughs> minutes. The atrium. The atrium? Is that right? So no, You're in an atrium. Oh, no. It's like the... The horizon or something like that. I the ship? Remember. Yeah, the, the ship. The Zero Dawn. It's the Horizon Zero Dawn. That's why there's so many robot monsters everywhere. Yay. I'm gonna check every day. <laughs> Uh, I still have yet to touch that game after, like, the second day it came out. Yeah. Horizon Zero Dawn? Yeah. Poor timing. Yeah. <coughs> it came out, like, a day or two before the Switch came out, so... It's playing. too bad, because I hear really good things. I... It's probably going to be uh, overshadowed by the fact that The Legend of Zelda just exists regardless of its quality. Yeah, I feel like going back to it, since they're both, like, open-world games where you hunt shit, <laughs> like, I'm going to go back to... Horizon Zero Dawn will be like, there's not enough to do. <laughs> Breath of the Wild is very good. It is very good. I know Nick's got a little, a little hate boner for it. I, well, I just hate things that I can't have. Yep. So like, it's whatever. <laughs> just being a human about it's it. Nintendo's own fault. <laughs> yeah, it's like literally something I can't. I almost anything else, everything else I hate, for no reason, I can get and stop hating it, but I can't. Like yeah. Nintendo hasn't given me an out. Yeah. I need, I need an out, Nintendo. Ty was lucky in that Ed was gracious enough to just kind of leave his Wii U in the living room. <laughs> yeah. So that Ty could play Breath of the Wild. I mean, I could buy a Wii U and play Breath of the Wild, but that's no fun. I mean, for the amount of money that you'll probably spend on a Wii U and Breath of the Wild, you might as well get a Switch. Ah, uh, I'd imagine Wii U's are pretty cheap now. You think so? I mean, yeah, they're, I mean, they're definitely cheaper than Switches, but... I bet you could use, get a used Wii U pretty cheap. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look at what a, what a Wii U costs right now, how much it would cost to get a Wii U and a Switch. That's the lady who wanted to be the boss. I bet you, you get to fuck her. I so. think. Yeah, you kiss her a whole bunch in the trailer. In the trailer of your dad's car. Uh, a refurbished Wii U is two hundred and eighty-eight dollars. That's very Where? expensive. On Amazon. What about Gestapo? Well, this uh, can't be right. It's like everything's on standby. Because <laughs> GameStop is the oh, company that was selling like thirty-dollar Wiis. What? You know, I thought Back this. Probably still now. We could see well, Wii's, yeah, they're gonna be super, super cheap. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be able to get over here. You did though. Okay. Where are you I'm supposed to go? So this doesn't make sense to me. What? Why can I hop? Why? You can hop that. I can hop chest this high wall it's like they in like one spot, but not that. Because the game doesn't want you to. <laughs> because the game. Hello. Is mean. Hello. I know I'm supposed to go somewhere. I'm just exploring. See, if I would have never found Omnigel um, and Exogen Mspec Magnage. This place should be packed with people. Magnage. Magnage. I I can't find a Wii U on GameStop. I don't hmm. know how. Maybe they're, they're hard to find. <gasps> oh, dude is moonwalking. Have you been playing more of this game in your free time, Nick? I gotten right here. Huh. So everything a pre-owned system on GameStop, a pre-owned system and Breath of the Wild is $310. Huh. So for $50 more, you get the new system. Yep. So <laughs> the lack of them providing Wii U's has made the price, or providing Switches has made the price of Wii U's go up. I think you might be right. It could be. Let's talk about immigration. It's a hot topic right now. What's wrong with her eyes? She's a robot? She seems to have really large breasts. <laughs> you got big boobs for a ribbon. That's all I got. <sighs> She's trying to be like that one thing. You remember that one thing from the first Mass Effect? What's her name? Uh, Cortana. Cortana. She's always hanging around with that big green dude. Uh, the Hulk. Yeah. I remember that from the first Mass Effect game. <laughs> this, is the, this is the first thing that came to mind when you said <laughs> those things. Big green dude instantly start thinking of the Hulk. Are you still on that planet? The planet? 
No, no, no. We're we're on the ship. So the last episode, our ship docked with the giant, uh, like hub world ship, mm-hmm. and everyone was like, "It's been six hundred years. It should be finished by now." And it's not. And we just walked into the ship, and it's all empty and stuff. Hmm. I keep having to burp, and it's annoying the shit out of me. So you're gonna be burping and pooping. I don't have to poop. But it's annoying the shit out of you. What year is you're right. Thank you for taking what I say literally. No problem. I'm assuming it's not actually 2819. Why? I don't know. Did you write this game? Yeah. Well, she's well, got Oh, no. Sh- okay. So where is everyone? I think I think the the day or the the year would be correct, right? What do you mean? Like it, the computers would still have a track of like what year it was. So I, I doubt that they'd be able to get away with like a. <gasps> it's only actually been thirty years, not six hundred. It only took us thirty years to get to Andromeda. Yeah. Wow. That was quick. People I love might still be alive. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me the Reapers are still attacking the Milky Way galaxy. Ah, that was quick. She's way out of date. That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. Right. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda. How come the AI is, uh, not human? Because the Sari are, they're like, uh, everyone likes them. That was helpful. Okay. I mean, I guess it made sense for... Why would the AI be human on a, on a ship that's supposed to have a whole bunch of different races? <laughs> I don't know, man. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it kind of... sorry look like... I thought this came from Earth. No. No, it came from everybody. sorry no. look like other people's races to other people. That's just a theory. What? Well, that's... No, they, one dude says they say that in the game. They say it's a theory in the game. What? No, what are you talking about? There's a scene in one of the games, It's I don't forget which one... Where there's a Solarian, a Turian, yeah, yeah, and a human, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're like, no, nah, man, she looks like a Turian. Yeah. And he's like, I think she looks like a Solarian to me. They never outright say that, though. Like, they never outright say that that's how it works. It was just like that one one-off scene where it's like, yeah, that's that's probably part of the lore, but it was never like, it was never like established as like a thing. We're from Archive Period, and All right. we're wondering where everybody So they look <laughs> different? To whoever's yeah, so like a Turian looking at an Asari, they would look like a Turian as as opposed to a human-ish looking thing. Yeah, we just got in. And for what it's worth, your VI over there. That's why they're always prostitutes and strippers and stuff because they they appeal to everybody. Hmm. They can also mate with everybody. Or captured, or so lost in I guess that kind of makes or... sense. But that you're they would here. like. You have no idea how much this means. Everybody. It's looked down upon when they mate with. Each other with their own race. Yeah. Oh, what do a sorry look like to others? I'm sorry. I think I'm gross. gross. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam. Randy. Part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc. Randy Ryder. This is notorious for scrambling equipment. I love Garrus. I'm gonna miss him. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> He's super dead. <laughs> Spoiler alert, everyone from the other game is dead now. You're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. Really? I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Something like... Rustling around... Over here. Oh, pro- probably my gutter. Go wrong with our plan. <laughs> Did you gutter make noises? We arrived I mean, 14 if it's months windy ago. outside, right away, we hit a band of dark enemies. That it's makes sense. Course. We're familiar with it. Well, then you'll know stuff. why we call it the Scourge. We lost you're supposed to look for stuff around every corner. A lot of people die. Stairs. You never know how much Omni Gel you're gonna find tucked away. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents yeah, see, you were can't, banished. Though that same crate, like over in some different corner, you can climb over. But that one you can't. Close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. You know what I've always found weird about, um, like RPGs, is that every time someone moves from one place to another, they always have to run. Which is not how people act in the real world. I mean, I can walk there. I think I was dictating. Yeah. So far, we've stayed hidden. I wanted to run because I'm an impatient person. And everybody around you is just like, "Situation running." Whole thing went south. 
You just gotta start calling us. this guy Garrus. They're all Garrus. They're a bunch of Garrus. We know about them. Those yeah. aliens are gonna be a real problem. <laughs> Even the lady Garrus. They're a whole bunch of better. giant Garrus. We're here. A whole bunch of those grasshoppers from fucking A Bug's Life. You should know yeah. Our fucking Christopher fracture. Walken. Some of us Yo, are yeah, in the ants. Sky. Stop. You're doing. Stop. Give us all and no your food. An arc to show hey, up. I want this. Stocking procedures are green oh across ass. the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion <laughs> power into the grid. <laughs> <laughs> your father wanted me to give it to you. He's an ant. I'm not an ant. I kept your father. Area. He's an ant. Up my uh, ass. Good luck. <laughs> For seven years. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea what you're around. Do you know that? <laughs> I don't actually. I have no idea what the lifespan of an ant is. I would bet it's like a couple months. In the last episode you put up a whole well, not the last last episode I saw. You put up a whole scene from a movie. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I put up the I put up the scene from uh, a gentleman that. or what was it? Uh, uh, we could uh, use uh, any supplies uh, you have. Uh, uh, fuck, a navy man and a gentleman? Yeah, yeah something, like that, or something or? in a uh, an officer and a gentleman. Yeah, uh, because I was trying to I was trying to Where's think of the scene fire? that has been parodied in so many things of Richard Gere going into a sweatshop and picking up a woman <laughs> and then going and then walking out of the <laughs> romantic <laughs> scene. That was Richard Gere. That was Richard Gere. He shoved movie. a hamster up his ass, right? Oh, we can't repeat this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how that conversation started last yes. time? Yes, it was. Because we were talking about that scene. Well, I think it's because we were talking about David Allen Greer. Yeah, because there's a guy named Greer in the game. And, and Nick said, is there someone named Richard Allen Greer? <laughs> no, there's a guy named Richard Tiffany Gear. <laughs> yes. Yes, there is. But that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. Okay, Bob. A golden meme, bar. meme challenge. Every no, time they say Ryder, no. <laughs> replace it with "We are number one." I am no. <laughs> Come on. I am, I am not. Come on. No. Do it. No. You got to do it. I'd say you need any help. I don't have to do shit. We are number one. Listen to what this thing sounds like. I'm not more cash. <laughs> Hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing. She's a lady. She has to be, right? She's I had a, no idea training. what this was. I was like, that's the gayest Krogan. We could use a fresh. Yeah, I think it's a lady Krogan. You I think you're right. Um, this game decided to like do a gender flip on like, but, like the two everything. most popular characters We're in the first Mass Effect. Pressure. It's just weird because like even I remember the lady Cro oh. discuss giving you a scout ship. What? You gotta do it again. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I remember the Lady Krogan in in the other games still sounding like their voice belonged to that Welcome body. To the Nexus. This just sounds like the gayest Krogan. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, with the genophage they, how far off track things have any port in a storm, am I right? I started sucking dick. Not yet. Ma'am, the Hyperion's core. I'm not gay, but a genophage is a genophage. Is a ghost? <laughs> Let me show you something. <laughs> An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. Maybe. <laughs> <He's> sucking. <laughs> <laughs> He's sucking the power out of our ship. Make sure that doesn't happen. It's got the the doc, uh, director Tan. That's that guy from Silicon chance. Valley. <laughs> the uh, the Indian guy. Uh, he was Kume in a, Kumail something. Oh, oh. He was in uh, Harmon Quest. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a Turian. It is a Turian. What's he doing? <laughs> oh, you thought he was a Krell? I did. What's he doing? <laughs> A little dance. He's just like... He's not typing on anything you can type on. He's live mixing. He's putting down the hottest beat, the side of Andromeda. You keep... Keep it up. You're really good at not looking at what you're doing. I love Randy. He's just... He just lifts his thing. He's like still staring straight and he's still <laughs> typing away at his fucking Omni tool. If I go over here. 
<laughs> what if I stand directly behind you? I'm sorry for wasting time, but I'm having a good time. You know, this is a good way to end an episode, I think. He's sitting here looking at this Turian's face as he live mixes some sick beats. He looks like a partially peeled fruit. You should uh you should hit the you should hit the start button and then go back cuz I don't care. But I want this. I want to be able to take this for a thumbnail. <laughs> I do love this man. He's just fucking around and doesn't want anyone to know. That's why he keeps looking. He's just I did, like, I oh. I just kind of want Randy peeking over the shoulder a little bit. <laughs> you You're at, too short. Is he scared? He's... <laughs> what is he doing? He's working. Nah, he's on Reddit. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this episode. Is this, is this a good time? This, this is a good place. <laughs> See you later, everybody. <laughs>